Hi, this is a walkthrough for configuring DocuSign with Loop and enabling sign on behalf of. First step is to have DocuSign and Loop fully installed. If you need help installing Loop, refer to the Getting Started Install Loop page. If you need help installing DocuSign, contact a DocuSign representative. But once you have both applications installed, first step is adding the DocuSign account ID to our service. To do this, navigate to the DocuSign admin tab. You should have access in the all tabs view. Select DocuSign admin, and then navigate to the administration tab. If your account has been properly configured, you should have access to your account ID. Copy this ID and then navigate to the DDP admin tab. Once you're in the admin tab, select modify subscription services. And then once the page loads, paste your DocuSign account ID in the account ID field. If you have DocuSign, you'll need Loop Plus business level of service, so be sure that business is selected under the Loop Plus level field. Select Save, and once this saves, your DocuSign account has been configured with Loop. Next, we want to make sure that Sign on behalf of is enabled. To do this, navigate to the All Tabs view, then scroll down to the DocuSign account configurations object. If you don't see this object, you must add a new tab for it. To do that, you must select Setup under your name, choose Create, Tabs, then select New while choosing the DocuSign Account Config object and then selecting a tab style. After you're done, select Next and this will create the tab. But because we have it created already, we can just navigate to it. Select Go next to All, and then choose your DocuSign account. Once you're in the DocuSign account, ensure that the Use and on behalf of checkbox as well as the username and password fields are all on the page layout. If you do not see them on the page layout, select the Edit Layout link at the top of the page. Then drag and drop the DS Pro SF username and password fields onto the page layout. These fields will be used to store the credentials of a DocuSign user along with their password. And then these credentials will be used to authenticate your DocuSign account and enable the account to be used with Loop. This does not mean that every envelope being sent from Salesforce will be sent on behalf of this user. It means that this user will be used to authenticate the account every time an envelope is sent. But just ensure that the use sent behalf of checkbox is checked that the username is valid, as well as the password. Fortunately, the password will not be encrypted. If you want to remove it from the page layout, select the Edit Layout link again, and then move the username and password fields back up into the palette, and select Save. Once you've saved, you've successfully configured Loop with DocuSign and enabled Send on behalf of. Thank you.